In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve some typical finance problems using the TI-83 Plus graphing calculator. So let's look at the first problem. A car is financed at $25,000 for four years at 3.5% compounded monthly. What is the monthly payment due? So this can come in handy if you're looking for a car. So let's look at the calculator. Okay, and the TI-83 Plus, I'm going to hit the Apps key, Applications. I'm going to turn it on first though. So hit the Apps key. <laughs> Sometimes you'll have several applications. You can also add some on your own, download them from the internet, or, or create some on your own. Um, I'll hit enter. And there's several several things I can use there, but the main one I want to use is the TVM solver. So I hit enter. And then with, with this, I can find uh, present value. I can find future value. I can find the amount of a payment which is what I want in this particular case so I fill in all fill in the appropriate values here except the one I'm looking for so I'm looking for payment which would be PMT here so this is for four years compounded monthly so n is really the number of payments so that's going to be 4 times 12 that's going to be 48 so enter that value the interest rate is 3.5 percent so just enter 3.5 the present value is the amount to be financed in this case this is 25,000 the payment is what I'm looking for so I leave that blank Future value, again, I don't worry about that. And then periods per year, in this, this case I enter 12, because it's compounded monthly. So that's 12 periods per year. And then go back up, and notice the last entry will be the same as the one I just entered, which will be 12. So when I hit the up key, that changes to 12. So what I want is the payment. So I put the cursor on the P, MT right there and then I hit the alpha key right here alpha and then I'm going to follow with hitting enter which in green there you can see it's solve so it's going to solve the problem for me so hit the alpha key and then followed by enter okay and it gives me a negative value you can you can ignore that and you can uh, then uh, conclude that the payment that you'll make the monthly payment that you'll make will be five hundred fifty eight dollars and ninety cents five hundred fifty eight dollars and ninety cents now you have to be careful sometimes when you go to a dealer and buy a car because sometimes they'll give you the uh, the, the, the amount that's going to be financed which is, which includes title and license and everything and then they'll go back and calculate and they'll tell you, okay, your monthly payment is going to be so much for either three years, four years, five years, depending on what you get it for. But sometimes they don't tell you that they're adding insurance to that, just in case you don't make the payments. They're covered. Uh, that happened to me one time. I think it was like maybe the second or third time I bought a car. I went in there and they gave me the payment. And of course, uh, I went ahead and calculated my payment, and my my they differed from t about twenty twenty five dollars. So their 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 monthly payment was twenty four twenty five dollars more than what I had calculated. So I asked it. I asked the uh, the person. I said, "Well, what's the deal here?" He said, "Well, uh, it's insurance." And of course, I was getting my money from the credit union, so I already had insurance. So that reduced my monthly payment from twenty five dollars. So over the course of three or four years, that's going to add up. So you really have to make sure that what the dealer tells you uh, is correct. So you can do your own calculation using this here. Of course, there's other financial calculators you can use to also find that out. 
but it worked for me. Saved me quite a bit of money on that particular deal. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. This one says, you deposit $5,000 into a savings to help you when you retire. Okay, so that means you're going to deposit the $5,000. You're going to let it sit there. If the account pays 5.5% interest compounded monthly, how much is in your account when you retire, say, in 30 years? So you're just going to deposit. You're not going to make any further deposits or withdrawals. You might as well sit there for 30 years, and it's asking how much are you going to have. Okay, so again, I'm going to go to the solver here, and it's right into the values. So in this in this case, then, uh, 30 years So the n is going to be you can you can enter this as 30 times 12, which is 360, or you can just enter 360. Okay, and this one pays 5 percent, 5.5 percent, so 5.5 interest compounded monthly. And the present value in this case, I'm going to set that to zero because we're not calculating that. Actually, it's $5,000. That's given. Okay. That's my deposit if you want, so it's 5000 The payment then is set at zero. In this case, I'm looking for the future value. Okay, so I'm depositing. I'm depositing five thousand now, so that's my present value. And I want to know, okay, what is this going to become in in uh, thirty years? And of course, the other entries are correct. Compounded monthly, so it's twelve and twelve. So in this case, I want future value. So I leave the cursor there on future value. F V hit alpha and then enter and I get again ignore the negative so it's going to be twenty five thousand dollars nine hundred thirty six and ninety four cents if you run off okay so that's what you're going to have in your account if you deposit five thousand dollars now and just let it stay in that account earning interest at 5.5% 5, 5 .5 compounded monthly for 30 years. When you retire, then you're going to have the 25, 936.94. Okay. Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> now you deposit 450 dollars per month for three years into an account that pays 10 percent interest compounded monthly what is the present value of this annuity what is the present value okay so we're not looking for a future value we're looking for the present value again go to my calculator here So again, this is uh, three years. So N is 36, okay? Three times 12, 36 payments. Interest rate is 10%, put that 10. And I'm looking for present value. So the next one I set that to zero for now. And I'm depositing 450 per month, so this will be 450.
future value, we set that to zero, and the other ones are at 12. So now I look for the present value. So go to PV, put the cursor there, and hit the alpha key, and then enter. And the present value then <clears throat> is 13,000. 13,000. 946 hundred 13,946 and six cents so 13,946 and six cents is the present value okay so the present value really is the is the amount is the amount that if you let sit there for the period of three years, it would give you the same the same amount as the value of the annuity or future value of the, of the annuity. So in other words, if you make payments of four hundred and fifty dollars every month for three years you're going to get, that's going to be the future value. Now, if you deposit 13946 and 6 cents into an account at the same rate and just let it sit there, that amount will grow to the same as the money you get by making the $450 per month for three years. clear this and that's going to conclude this video on finance using the TI-83 and I hope this is uh, helpful to you and hopefully you will subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.